and you can just grab like this and eat it. Mm. Wow, guys, this is how it looks like. I mean, how beautiful is this? Go ahead and dump a bunch of sugar on top. A handful of dough, squeeze those tomato inside. You see, they wanna come out, so you wanna keep it inside right there. Uh, guys, the perfect panzerotto, put it in tomato sauce, and um, or any sauce that you want. Mm. Ooh, two, three, lovely crisp right there on top. Here we go, the Montanarina, beautiful. Hello guys from my Lucio Copelli and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I something special. We're gonna go directly to the point. We got some uh, leftover dough. I teach everything, you know, after the holidays, of course, we don't wanna waste any food. And of course, we're gonna have uh, a lot of food uh, remaining. But also... Uh, so, so Okay. Yeah, aspetta, aspetta. And of course, we are going to have some uh, uh, leftover pizza dough, or maybe you have a, you had a, pa a pizza party and uh, you have some little, uh, some pizza dough left. So what do you do? It's uh, basically today I'm going to show you ten ideas that you can do with uh, pizza dough leftover. So of course you can also make it the dough and uh, do whatever you whatever you can do this 10 uh, special 10 speciality things look at this dough did you see how much bubble pop, 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 pop. this is leftover dough from uh, three days ago so what i did i re it and put it in the container like that and then uh, i put it in the fridge for three days today i decided to do this video and then uh, what i did two hours ago i made uh, uh, some balls directly. I take it out from the fridge. I made uh, some balls. So this is how we're gonna find it. So here we go. Today I'm going to show you 10 best ideas that you can do from the leftover pizza dough. And also the most important thing that is, is that we're gonna make it with ingredients from uh, the regular pizza margherita. So with three simple ingredients, we are going to make 10 best simple things that you can do also in only 10 minutes. So again, in just 10 minutes or maybe less. So let's go ahead and let's start to the best pizza channel. This is very simple and easy. We're gonna make four montanarine. So cut the dough in four pieces. You don't need to make it exactly, exactly a circle. So go ahead and just press it, press it down. Okay, now a little bit of flour on top because those are a little bit sticky. Yeah. Voila, so now we are ready to go ahead and uh, cook it. So basically we're gonna fry those. There we go, just like that. Turn it, they need to be gold, not cook all the way. Just, uh, voila, when they are uh, gold color, just like that, the, uh, that means that they are ready. So let's go ahead, let's take it out. So press it down just a little bit on the center and easily get a little bit of tomato and just dump it inside the, the, the hole that we made. This is very simple to do. A little bit of parmesan, a couple of pieces of mozzarella. Even one is fine, not too much. A little bit of oregano. And they are ready to go in the oven. Oven at the max temperature. Cook until the mozzarella starts to bubble. Oven at the max temperature. Okay, guys, nice and hot. They are ready and lovely. This is the idea number one. Let's finish with a little bit of uh, basil. And uh, here we go, the montanarine. Beautiful. Let's go on the second one. This number two, it's very simple and uh, easy to do. So of course we want to make, uh, again, let's make three, three or four, depends how big you want it. Those are really easy and quick to do, so I'll make it really simple for you. So now, press a little bit, we, we, you want to keep it a circle. So go ahead and uh, gently, not, don't press too much, gently, with a roller pin, go ahead and press it. You want to get this thickness a little bit, not too, not too thin, not too thick. So take off the flour. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you how to cook those. Right, so you need to have the pan a little bit hot. Get and spray some olive oil. Or also uh, you can put some uh, butter inside. Put the dough 
on top of the pan hot. There we go. Now spray again a little bit of uh, olive oil on top and uh, go ahead and close it. L wait that the, the, the dough gets uh, nice and a little bit puffy and they are ready to go ahead and turn it. Okay guys, now that they puff up a little bit, now let's go ahead and let's turn it. Let's flip it over, let's see, voila, that's how they look like. Beautiful. Now leave the pan open and wash this. Spray olive oil on top, some black seeds on top. A little bit like the, those, uh, I want to call it like a bun, an Italian bun with the leftover pizza dough. And guys, they're really delicious. This is how they look like, nice and soft. Voila. And the good thing of this is, uh, see, take a look. Nice and soft. And then, uh, of course, guys, you just strip it apart, put it in tomato sauce, and um, or any sauce that you want. Mm. Okay, guys, those are really good for the, the dessert lover. Here we go, we're gonna make uh, some uh, real pettole from Puglia. And this is, you don't need to remake a bowl, or if you have a bowl, it's fine, but uh, look, look how easy are these. Just dump a little bit of flour on the floor right there. So go ahead and grab a handful of dough. And the good thing of this is that you don't need to make a, like a, a exactly a circle. Couple of times in the flour, just like that. Don't make a circle, don't, don't do anything. Just cut it. Those are really easy and quick to do. I repeat, I'm gonna make this easy to, to remake. So that's what we're gonna do. In the flour, take off the flour, voila. Now they're ready and let's go ahead and we're gonna deep fry this and uh, let me show you. Try to separate each other, otherwise they're gonna go ahead and get attached. And don't worry if they are pressed or something because they're gonna pop up anyway. Those are really typical in Bari, my city, my town. They, are, they look white because of the light and also the olive oil, it's, it's clean. So when it's clean, the the fry food comes out a little bit uh, more light color. Go ahead and dump a bunch of uh, sugar on top. At this point, take a look how they are, nice and soft. Move it a little bit, this way the sugar goes everywhere. And go ahead and put a little bit of uh, cacao on top, chocolate, whatever you wanna put. Also, you can put also some uh, uh, cinnamon or Nutella, whatever you want. We got the perfect dessert with the leftover pizza dough. Voila. Please tell me what you think. Beautiful. Okay, guys, those are really fun to do is uh, our little focaccine. So grab a little bit, just grab uh, those type of uh, cups or even uh, the one that goes inside uh, the oven. Those are really good for the oven. Now, a little bit of uh, olive oil. Now, get the dough that I didn't reboil it. Voila. Uh, like a, you, wanna, you wanna grab like a 120 grams to make those small focaccine. One ball. Not, see how easy it is? Just try to make one ball. There we go. This is approximately 100 grams. Once we made the ball, uh, uh, you want to put the top, uh, the top on top. So go ahead and just dump it right there. Simply go ahead and just dump it inside the, the cup right there. A little bit of uh, olive oil on top. Now grab a couple of tomato and then squeeze it inside. Squeeze those tomato inside. You see, they want to come out. So you want to keep it inside right there. That's it. Now let it rest at uh, room temperature for 30 min 20 to 30 minutes. Time, go ahead and warm up the oven at uh, 400 Fahrenheit. Okay, guys, this is how the focaccine after 20 minutes looks like. Nice, they grow a little bit, the size, but they, most, importantly, most importantly is they, they relax. So now we can go ahead and put it in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit. Cook it for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes.
until they get nice and gold. There we go, guys. The focaccine are ready. Be careful, they're really hot. Ooh, careful. Voila. This is how they look like. See, that's why I said the tomato. Uh, just put it on the inside. Voila. Lovely cook. Ooh. Well, I lost the tomatoes. I lost the tomato, guys. See this one too. Beautiful, guys. Nice, soft. They're cooked. Let's go ahead and taste it. Mm. Wow. Okay, let's go with uh, idea number five. Guys, this is for the kids. Well, I don't know how to call those, but uh, <laughs> watch those. So we need this, a couple of uh, hot dogs, just like that. Don't worry about dump it inside the flour, don't worry. So they cut it, and then at the edge, we're gonna go ahead and make uh, like cut it in four, because I'm gonna show you later what it's gonna look like. Lovely for kids, again. Cut the almost half. Let's grab again some dough that is uh, over, uh, like overproof like there, and then just cut. Set down, you want the sticky part, like that, and then watch this, guys. Very simple. Grab, uh, make a, uh, put the sticky part on the dough, uh, on, the, on the hot dog, and just roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And then just cut, pinch it, and make sure it's, it's, uh, uh, it's attached. So dump it in the flour. Same thing, another, another one. I used to make this when I was uh, like uh, 16 years old in my, my father used to make it at the pizza place. So now, you wanna have a bunch of flour right there. And this is how they look like. So now let's go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and fry those. Twist it a couple of times in the, in the oil. And guys, trust me, your kid is gonna love this. And here you go, guys. <laughs> Lovely, beautiful, take a look. Nice, looks like a, a little octopus. Okay guys, this is uh, uh, really also simple to do and really fast. What I did here, I knew that I'm gonna make this, so I made a, a small, a small pizzetta. So basically here we're gonna make, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make the a couple of times in the flour. We have to press everything. We want to make a very, very thin. This is a classic piadina with a pizza dough. So this is how you do it. You can do it in the oven or you can do it in the pan. Since you are home, to make it easy for you, I'm gonna make it in the pan. So, voila. so let's go ahead and let me show you what I do. Ah, the pan is nice and hot. Just dump the piadina inside the, the pan. Voila. Now wait, wait that it starts to uh, get a little bit bigger. And I repeat guys, this is not the original piadina, but this is a piadina from leftover pizza dough. Just to give you an idea. There we go, at this point go ahead and turn it. See, it's lightly brown. Now you'll notice that it's gonna pop up more. So when it gets like this color, even the other side, the piadina is ready. A little bit of cheese in one side, there we go, just like that, and then put all the condiments now. A little bit of uh, olive oil on top of the ingredients. Go ahead and uh, cover up for a few, uh, for a minute. You'll notice that the cheese is gonna go ahead and uh, get melted. A little bit, you don't wanna melt it too much because you can eat it just like that. The is ready, let's go ahead now and uh, See, the dough stays soft, then put it down, and, uh, and voila, guys. So this is the piadina, and uh, you can put some arugula, you can put whatever you like, to be honest. But this is, uh, see, this is the texture, how it looks like. Nice and soft, the texture of this piadina. See, soft, and you can just grab like this and eat it. So I like it because you can just, voila. How simple was that? Please comment below. Now it's time to go ahead and share. Take a look. Mm. Okay, guys, at this point, why not, guys? Why not? I grabbed I grab some uh, pizza dough from there. I didn't make any balls. I just grabbed it from there. 
Now, why not? We're gonna make uh, a vehicle or probably the most, the most uh, typical food in Bari, which is the panzerotto fritto, the fry panzerotto. So go ahead and just press, 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 press. With a roller pin, you wanna make the same level. Guys, don't make it too thin because this is, uh, you can open really quick. Just press the sides and keep the center like that. This is a very typical in Bari. So fresh mozzarella, put it in the center. Parmesan cheese, tomato sauce, not too much. Is with the black pepper inside. Pay attention what I do. So no flour here. So because we wanna close the panzerotto, go ahead and just close it like that. And guys, you can make a bunch of those and they are really good cold too. So now press the sides and then pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, and then give it a nice close up, just like that. Voila, grab it like this, opla, grab it like this, and then let's go ahead and let's put in the hot oil, but not too hot. We don't want the oil too bubbling. So go ahead with a spoon and put the oil on top of the panzerotto. Turn it, but you wanna be gentle because those are really easy to make a hole. If you make a hole, Go ahead and try to take it out as soon as possible, otherwise you're gonna mess up all the oil. Voila. Madonna, sento un po' babarmo. Okay, the panzerotto at this point is lovely ready. Ah, uh, guys, the perfect panzerotto made with leftover pizza dough. You guys can, uh, this is perfect. We do this when it's uh, like a Christmas time. Always the, we make uh, a bunch of dough, like hundreds of panzerotti like this. We make it with meat and we put it with uh, regular, like I did today. And uh, you, you guys enjoy this it when it's cold, it's perfect, guys. lovely, and it's nice this and filling. Panzerotto so smash that like if you love panzerotto for Bari. Ciccio, the focaccia napoletane. This is Neapolitan focaccia, the original one, how they make it. So this is how you press the focaccia. This is served at the restaurant when it, for, instead of the bread, that's what they give to the uh, to the table, if when you go in Naples. Go ahead and take off the, the flour, and then this is, you stretch it like a li little bit like a pizza, but uh, you wanna keep a little bit more air inside. Voila. Now put a little bit of uh, olive oil on top. Uh, the original uh, focaccia is made with uh, rosemary or also uh, oregano. But uh, what I'm gonna do today is uh, salt zatar, guys. If you never tried the za'atar, go ahead and try, because this is beautiful for a pizza. Go ahead and extra on top. You wanna cover the focaccia with za'atar. Of uh, holes, not too much. Couple of holes. Now let's go ahead and let's put this beast in the oven. Don't touch it anymore, we wanna keep it like that. The focaccia from leftover. Let's go ahead and let's cook it until it's cooked at the max temperature. Ooh, our focaccia, it's lovely ready. Nice and crown, nice and crispy. I like to put some uh, Philadelphia or goat cheese. This is the focaccia with the, rose, uh, with the za'atar. The beautiful, perfect idea. Nice, crunchy, let's cut it and let's taste it. Beautiful. Guys, this is how it looks like. I mean, how beautiful is this? How beautiful is this? Nice, crispy, the bottom all the way cooked. Now let's taste it. Mm. This uh, idea here, it's really nice and fun to make. Uh, this is the name of those things is, uh, uh, in Italian, peccati del re. That's how I used to call it. But uh, I wanna call it for you pizza roll, pizza rolls, so there we go. That's how you wanna, how, how I wanna call it. In this one, we're gonna press everything. Press everything, not too much. You don't wanna make it too thin. Press everything, just like that, all the air out. Voila, take off all the flour. The, you're gonna make like a square on this pizza. Now, put the ingredients, some fresh mozzarella. Try to put a torse like this, everywhere, of course. Little bit of uh, oregano. And of course, guys, you can make this uh, whatever you want. You can put whatever you want. Little bit of tomato, this way. And then we call it roll because we're now, at this point, we're gonna roll like a sushi. <laughs> there we go. 
That's how you do it. Go ahead, go ahead, and then, and cut it off. Take it out, boom. Put it right there. So now, guys, at this point, a little bit of flour, you wanna make sure it's not attached. Now, you have to, just one couple of like a cut, really quick. Just like that, one time, one time. One, two, three, and four. Make sure it's cut. Now, just like that, warm up the pan, and then let me show you how to cook those. Just this way it doesn't stick. And then now, go ahead and put those, this pizza roll inside the pan. Close it. Pay attention, guys, you, don't, you have to pay attention on those because uh, they're a little tricky. It's cooking, dump it a little bit inside. Even on top, don't worry. That's it. But always check. Check, yeah, there we go, now we can turn it. Upside down. That's it. Now just keep the lid a little bit open, this way we don't make a mess. In Italy I used to make it always for the people at the table. They, when they say, okay, make something special, boom, that's what I was making. And the pizza roll are nicely, lovely, done. So what I usually do here is I put uh, a nice base of arugula, but I don't have it today. And this is how I place it. I place one, Ooh. two, three, lovely crisp right there on top. Little bit of base just to the core. Little bit of Parmesan on top. And here you go, you have the perfect, the perfect appetizer. That's what I'm talking about. Lovely, fantastic. Get the cheese there on top and it's tasty. Mm. The crispy cheese, little bit burned there. It's lovely, fantastic, guys. Okay, guys, this is the last one. Guys, this is really interesting. This is basically the bruschetta. So take out the dough, see what I'm doing? Take out the dough and gently flip it over. But pay attention to this video until the end because it's very important what I do next. Go ahead, give it a little cut. Go ahead and uh, put it on the peel. And let's cook it at uh, 400 Fahrenheit for about when it gets gold. 400 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Nice and hot. The bread, it's ready. This is how it looks like. Look at this, fantastic. You know, you can eat this as you want it. Perfect, now it's cooled down and then get ready with the, with the pan. Warm up the pan again. This is how the bread should look like, how amazing. So it's still hot a little bit. You need to let it cool down if you have time to be able to make the bruschetta. A little bit of uh, olive oil on top, both sides. And uh, take a look at the bread. Now a little bit of uh, tomato sauce on top. You can put whatever you want on the bruschetta. Eh? So like that, I like to put a little bit of Parmesan on top, a little bit of cheese, not too much. Just to, just to give it a little, like a f nice and flavorful of uh, mozzarella. Let's warm up, let's go ahead and let's put the bread on the pan. Like this. Go ahead and close it and then cook it. Don't burn it, but cook it a little bit, just the time to give it a nice color on the bottom. This is how it looks like, perfect, nice and crunchy. On the, on the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but it's lovely. Now a little bit of uh, oregano, a couple of foil of uh, basil just to give it the color of this fantastic, lovely bruschetta. That's it guys, this is the bruschetta with the leftover pizza dough. Tell me what you think of this. Let's go ahead and taste it. Ooh, guys, it's finally, this, uh, look how crispy it is. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Now, it's your time. Comment below and tell me which one of the 10 you like the most. Or tell me if this video was uh, very easy to understand for you. Guys, smash the like button, please. Share, at least with your friends. 
it's totally free and subscribe down below make everything with love the simplest possible just for you enjoy the holidays and i'll see you every week with a new video thank you so much from my studio cobelli i'll see you next week ciao